Hi, I have come up with my new video in accessibility option. This video is for class 10 students. Let us begin with the syllabus first. The latest syllabus for this unit is Session 1, Working with Accessibility Options Session 2, Networking Fundamentals Session 3, Introduction to Instant Messaging Session 4, Chatting with a Contact, Google Talk Session 5, Creating and Publishing Web Pages, Blog Session 6, Using Offline Blog Editors Session 7, Online Transactions Session 8, Internet Security Session 9, Maintain Workplace Safety Session 10, Prevent Accidents and Emergencies Session 11, Protect Health and Safety at Work I have already posted a video on networking fundamentals. You may go through it. Link is given in description window of video. Let's begin with the first topic of this session. Assistive technology, when a combination of hardware and software, enables a person with a disability or impairment to use a computer. Assistive software, assistive software, also called adaptive software, refers to computer programs designed for specialized hardware used by physically challenged people. These softwares are helpful for the people who have disability. In this video I will focus on assistive software. Before starting in details, first understand about the types of impairment, cognitive impairments, and learning disabilities, such as dyslexia, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. ADHD, or autism. Visual impairments such as low vision, complete or partial blindness, and color blindness. Hearing impairment including deafness. Motor or dexterity impairment such as paralysis, cerebral palsy, or carpal tunnel syndrome and repetitive strain injury. Let's us understand how to change the settings for disabled people. If you have Windows 7 or new operating system then you will go with ease of access centers, otherwise in Windows XP, accessibility option helps to do so as per the syllabus the contents are based on Windows XP. The explanation of video is XP based, but I will show you both the interface. Let's understand these terms, ease of access center or accessibility options. It is one of the setting tools which is used to customize the function of keyboard, mouse etc. Shortcut key for ease of access center, Windows key with you. Steps 2. Launch accessibility options in Windows XP is. Click start, click on control panel, click on accessibility options. This is ease of access center, and its components. It displays various options to make your computer easier to use. Let's see how accessibility options looks like. It contains five tab, keyboard, sound, display, mouse, and general. The entire settings are based in these five tabs. Let's move forward. Let's start with first tab, that is keyboard tab. The first tab of accessibility options is keyboard tab. This tab helps to do settings for sticky keys, filter keys and toggle keys. Now understand about sticky keys. Sticky keys is a Microsoft Windows accessibility feature that causes modifier keys to remain active, even after they have been pressed and released, making it easier to do keyboard shortcuts. Sticky keys assist users who have physical disabilities or help users reduce repetitive strain injury. The name of modifier keys are Shift, Alt, Control. To enable sticky keys, open Accessibility option, then click on Keyboard Tab and select Use Sticky Keys checkbox. Then click on Apply button and click on OK button. To disable sticky keys, Uncheck Use Sticky Keys and then click on Apply button and click on OK button. Now see about the filter keys. It is an accessibility function that tells the keyboard to ignore brief or repeated keystrokes, making typing easier for people with hand tremors. To enable filter keys, click on checkbox of Use Filter Keys. Then you need to do the settings, so click on Settings, under Filter Keys. 
and check ignore repeated keystrokes. Then click on apply button and click on OK. To disable filter keys, uncheck use filter keys and then click on apply and click on OK button. This window appears when you click on settings. You need to go on filter options section. It will help you to select the desired option. You can select the ignore repeated keystrokes option. Then click on apply button and click on OK. Now come to next topic that is toggle keys. It is also a feature which is designed for people who have vision impairment or cognitive disabilities. When toggle keys is turned on, computer emits sound cues, when the locking keys, caps lock, num lock, or scroll lock, are pressed. A high sound is emitted when the keys are switched on and a low sound is emitted when they are switched off. To enable toggle keys, check use toggle keys. Click settings under toggle keys. Then click on apply button and click on OK. To disable toggle keys, uncheck use toggle keys and then click on apply button and click on OK button. Look at the figure to understand that from where you have to set the accessibility options. The second tab of accessibility options is sound. You can set two options from here. First one is sound sentry and second one is show sound. Let's know more about it, sound sentry. It generates text or visual warning such as blinking title bar, flashing border whenever the computer produces the sound. It provides visual notifications for sounds. To enable sound sentry, click on checkbox of use sound sentry under sound tab. Doing so activates a drop-down list where from you can choose the type of visual warning desired. Then click on apply button and click on OK. To disable sound sentry, uncheck use sound sentry and then click on apply button and click on OK button. Now see how to work with show sound. Show sounds, it instructs applications that convey information by sound. It also provide information visually, through text captions or informative icons. To enable show sounds, click on checkbox of use show sounds under sound tab. Doing so activates a drop down list where from you can choose the type of visual warning desired. Then click on apply button and click on OK. To disable show sounds, uncheck use show sounds and then click on apply button and click on OK button. Look at the figure to understand that from where you have to set the accessibility options. The third tab of accessibility options is display tab. You can set two options from here, high contrast and cursor options. Now see what are these options and why it is used. High contrast is an accessibility feature to assist people with vision impairment. It can change the size and color of fonts and the background for ease of viewing. To enable high contrast, check. Click on checkbox of use high contrast under display tab. Doing so activates a drop down list where from you can choose the type of visual warning desired. Then click on apply button and click on OK. To disable high contrast, uncheck use high contrast and then click on apply button and click on OK button. Now see how to work with next option of display option that is cursor options. It is also an accessibility feature that assists people with vision impairment by changing the blink rate and width of the cursor. To change the speed of the cursor blink, move the blink rate slider back and forth. Notice the cursor blinking at various speeds. To change the width of the cursor, move the width slider back and forth. Notice the width of the cursor changing. Then click on apply button and click on OK button. Look at the figure to understand that from where you have to set the accessibility options. The fourth tab is mouse tab. This tab helps to do settings of mouse keys. Mouse keys is an accessibility feature that assists people who have difficulty using a mouse. 
This option uses the keyboard, especially numeric keypad, as a pointing device instead of a mouse. Select the mouse tab, a window to configure accessibility options for mouse will be displayed. To enable mouse keys, check use mouse keys. Click apply button and then click on OK button. To disable mouse keys, uncheck use mouse keys and then click on apply, then click on OK button. Look at the figure to understand that, from where you have to set the accessibility options. The last tab is General tab. This tab enables to configure accessibility options for all users. One very important setting we can do from here that is Serial Keys Serial Keys is an accessibility feature that assists people that have difficulty using a keyboard or a mouse, mm -hmm. or both. They can use special devices such as SIP, Puff and Breath switches to provide input to the computer through serial ports. For example, sipping on the tube activates one device, while puffing on the same tube activates another. This setting helps the people who have multiple disability. Look at the figure to understand that, from where you have to set the accessibility options. Now from here onwards you will see the accessibility option, of ease of access center. Look at the figure to understand that, from where you have to set the accessibility options. These steps will help you to set sticky keys, filter keys and toggle keys, accessibility options. These steps will help you to set, high contrast, accessibility options. And, these steps will help you to set, mouse keys, accessibility options. Now we are at the end of the video and here I have uploaded few questions for your self-assessment. Go through these questions and try to get the answers. That's all for this session. We'll soon come up with new topic. Like, subscribe and share this videos with friends. Thank you and bye bye.